Well, I am back. Yes, I am back. Back again. Tell your friends. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I am back. Yes. Um, I had a great holiday. I just want to say a massive thank you to anybody who watched all the videos while I was on holiday here. Yeah, I do appreciate it. But we are back. It's been a, a day since I've been back. I've been zonked out. Got back on Tuesday and I literally slept till, till three o'clock in the afternoon. I was gonna do a video, but I thought, you know what, I can't be bothered. Uh, just totally exhausted. I have never done so much walking in my life. I'm sunburned all over my shoulders. My son's sunburned. The last day, suddenly, was, it was intense heat. We just put suntan cream on and everything. Obviously, it, just, it was just mega hot, so yeah. I got crispy shoulders. My son's got like, like sunburn all over his shoulders as well. So yeah, but it's back to reality now, and yeah, I gotta go. Gotta go through how my sales went over the holiday. It's now Wednesday, so I'm gonna do all the sales from last week, plus the last few days. Right, I'm just gonna go through them as quick as possible. Anything that's came. Anything that pops out is a bit interesting, I will obviously talk about it, but I'm gonna try and go through it as quick as possible. Because there's quite a few, and yeah, I've got my list, and I've gotta, yeah, go through these because it's gonna take quite a while. So, if you watch the whole video, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um, trying to get back into work now. Work mode is gonna be hard. I could have gone to a car boot today, but like I said, I just couldn't be bothered getting up. Um, but <clears throat> we have got one tomorrow, so I might go to that one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through the holiday sales now and show you what I've sold and how much money in sales I've made over the last week and a little bit. So first of all, this was on the day I was actually leaving. I sold a Winnie the Pooh radio, like a retro one. Um, I paid £2 for that and I sold it for £24.99. Anything Disney retro, like phones, radios, like toys like that, get them. If you can pick them up for a couple of quid, they usually fetch between 20 and 30 quid. Next was a Sharp view cam. I picked that up for £10 and I sold it for £30. I sold an ELC Tower of Doom uh, figures, which is part of the bundle for £9.99. Then I sold something you should really be looking for is a uh, brooder trucks or vehicles, big plastic uh, vehicles. They are very, very desirable. I picked this up for three pounds and this is just the, the truck part. This is not with a trailer, which I've got the exact same one right there, which needs to be listed with the trailer. I sold this one for 29.99. I think the one with the trailer sells for about 40 pounds. So if you do see anything with brooder on it, get it. Next, I sold a Nerf Fortnite gun. Paid three quid for that, sold it for £14.99. One of them automatic ones which has a battery in, so they're a bit more uh, desirable. Then I sold something I've had for ages, picked up from a charity shop for a quid. It's just a laser toner cartridge, sold it for £1.99. So I'm probably going to break even with that after fees. Then I sold some black and blue slip on vans, picked these up for two quid, sold them for £20. Finally, I sold the milk bottles, which I picked up from Cheshire. I think it was last year. Um, really, really nice. Never been used. Picked these up for 10 quid. Sold them for 19.99. They're worth probably about 40 pounds, but just people using these sort of like milk bottles for milk and juice, people don't really use it anymore. I picked up uh, from Stafford Car Boot probably about a month ago a Amazon. I did think it was Amazon Fire Stick, which was obviously with the remote. Found out it wasn't. One was an Apple TV with like re remote receiver box thing, and the other one was the Amazon receiver. It's a voice controlled one. So I classed that as free because I picked it up for two quid, I think, or something like that. So I made that as free, sold that for $7.99. Then I picked up before I went on our day, I picked up this uh, Scale Electric Simpsons ones where the Scale Electric Simpsons cars were actually no good. 
um, and the track was part of that. But he did have two minis in there, and I just sold them for nineteen ninety nine, and they owe me one pound fifty. So when I do sell the uh, Simpsons thing, I am just going to sell it for like five ten quid. It'll probably not even that because it'll owe me nothing. So something what I bought off the granny, which I'm still getting abuse off. Um, Papo Unicorn Knight. Um, part of um, the bundle of course and I sold that for £10 then I sold a Goodman's VHS this is one that's um, not working for £7 um, that was be £2.50 so um, it was a big bundle and a lot of them didn't work it's that risky take but if this would have been working I would have been looking about £25 to £30 but it didn't but I still got £7 back Next item I sold is the Mercedes car which was in the big auction where I bought a lot of like model cars. This one owed me £19.64 and I sold for £29.99. Some of these um, cars that I did buy from the auction I think I, I, I wish I never bought them. They're not selling as quick as I wanted to. Uh, I really did think the Ferrari ones would have sold so I might actually just start putting them all on auction just to get rid of them to get some money back next I sold a Disney Mickey Mouse laptop paid a quid for it and sold it for £15 there you go again they sell all the time these like Disney things they're worth picking up you can pick them up for a couple of quid you're always going to get 15 to 30 quid depending on the age next item is something I'm picking up a lot of and it's bread machines pick up your bread machines if you can pick up a bread machine for under a fiver you're gonna make some good money. I picked up a Morphe Richards one without the paddle, so it mixes the actual dough while it's cooking. Um, so I couldn't sell it as much as I wanted to. I did have a few um, offers for like 10 quid, and I was like, no chance. Um, but somebody came in um, and paid full price, which was 25 quid, I paid two quid for that. My son sold some of his games on my eBay. Um, this was WWE 2K Battlegrounds, only three pound 50. So, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just money because I bought him a game and he gave me some of his old games. Next, I sold the Jaguar XJ220 model kit. Somebody really did want it, but he was asking about if it um, had been damaged in other places. It looked like it's damaged on photos. Obviously, I was on holiday, so I told him I couldn't, like, you know, look for him. But then somebody came in, paid full price, $24.99 when I paid three pound. That actual model kit was probably worth about 40 quid, but the windscreen was damaged and had a crack in it. So unfortunately I couldn't sell it for more. Then I sold a Ginger Talking Tom. I picked this up for 50p and I sold it for 12.99. Sold one of their wooden um, puzzles, which was a football like symbol, the badge. It was the Arsenal one. Um, picked this up for three pound in the charity shop, sold it for 19.99. Then I sold one of the ink cartridges for one that massive bundle, which was all 50p for an ink cartridge, uh, for 10.99. Then I sold a Patagonia only I had for 10 quid. I paid a quid for that. Sold some Speedo um, training fins, adult ones, for 15 pound. They cost four quid. Then I sold another puzzle, which is the Liverpool badge, for 19.99. That cost me three pound as well. Then I sold, you will be watching me, um, I sold the wheelchair from a subscriber, do meet up with him quite a few times at the car boot, he bought a wheelchair and he just obviously wasn't going to ship it, um, so it's like collection only. He says, do you want to buy it? I said, yeah, okay then, how much? He says, 20 quid, that's how much I paid for it. I sold it, yeah, I sold it for £130, so when I see you again mate at the car boot, I will buy you a coffee um, if you want, so yeah. Paid 20 quid for that and I sold it for 130 quid. The next item was a good one. I picked up a Panasonic uh, DVD recorder. Paid £2 for this. Sold it for £45.99. Then I sold a Drive Nitro Walker. These are like top of the range. Um, paid £25 for this. This was the car boot just before I was going to go on holiday. And I just sold that for 120 I also sold a Bush vhs cassette player this was in the bundle of all broken ones uh so it cost me two pound fifty sold it for a tenner then i sold a despicable me unicorn with pajamas on 
that cost me three quid, sold for eight. Then a bad buy, I, I've told you about this, when I bought the big, huge uh, Mario figure, um, I suddenly was getting interrupted by somebody trying to grab the Mario, who they sell stuff on a car boot. Um, so I got a bit like all distracted, picked up this Batmobile and Batpod, thinking they'd be worth a lot more. They were, if they was in great condition, but both of them was in really bad condition. So I sold them together for eight pounds, Paid four pound each for them. I don't even know why I paid four pound. I wouldn't even pay four pound if it was in good condition. Um, but yeah, I've probably lost maybe a quid off that. Um, but it happens. It happens. And then finally, just before I did this video, I sold Crash Bandicoot for the PS2. I paid a quid for this at a charity shop, and I sold it for eight pound. Over the last week since I've been on holiday and the last few days, I made around. 714 quid in sales obviously you got to take off the uh the stuff what it costs for and all that lot. so maybe about maybe about 550 maybe a bit more um i haven't really paid much for many of the things on there except for the walker and the obviously the wheelchair but obviously i made a lot more money for it but yeah it's okay i you know I, I wasn't i had stuff listed i had stuff scheduled five a day so it, it was just trickling on. Um, I was answering stuff while I was on holiday. Um, but I wasn't really putting a load of effort into trying to sell stuff. And that is all from eBay. Not one vintage sale at all. Vintage has gone absolutely rubbish. It's gone completely dead. If you don't put stuff on vintage, they don't want to know about you. Um, and I have sold stuff on eBay, which... I had to just delete off Vinted because Vinted is so bad. And I uh, it makes me laugh because when people are buying stuff, if I was looking for something, I would always look on eBay and I would also look on Vinted because you're probably getting cheaper on Vinted. And some of the things that people have bought on my eBay shop this week, um, yeah, they could have got it for like £5 cheaper on my Vinted. Uh, but it is what it is. But yeah. I am now back and it's time to start listing again. I've got so much stuff that um, I've got to do. I'm just looking at all the stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with videos this week. I might just restart videoing properly again, like from Saturday, you know, when car boots are on properly and then carry on like I normally do because I just want to recuperate all the money that I spent and it's expensive. I had no help. It was just me paying for everything. You know, got, I haven't got a partner. It was just me and my son. Massive thing for me, a massive thing for my son. First time us being away um, together, like abroad, and me like looking after him 24 7. You know, we, we've been away, you know, we're here, you know, in the house, and I, but it's completely different. When you're in a foreign country, you know, just trying to get a, a chair or like a deck chair where you know you can see him in the pool all the time because I was in the pool quite a lot but sometimes I wanted to like just have a rest you know because I didn't want to leave my bag because it had my phone in you know had my, my wallet in there and I just you know you can't trust people uh, I worked out how much I spent over that one week and I spent 1,000 probably 200 pound in spending money yeah a lot of money I spent I can't believe I spent that much money um, obviously it most of it was food um, and going out obviously the day trips and stuff like that but yeah it was well worth it I would never ever change my mind about and regret what I did because it was really nice to spend time it's me and my lad doing stuff seeing his face going on different things like the go-karts the you know going to Cyan park and him really enjoying himself just loving like jumping the pool chilling out you know meeting people who you just don't know it's just a different atmosphere when you go abroad you just you know it's just a different atmosphere and you know he wants to go to America next time. That isn't his next holiday. He wants to go to America. He wants to do all of Disneyland. He wants to do all of, 
you know, Universal Studios and all that, that. And I said, yeah, Kai, um, it's a bit more money than New Thing. He goes, well, you're doing good at your reselling. It'll only take a couple of things to sell. And I was like, yeah, okay then. But yeah, if I want to do that, I've got to knuckle down for the rest of the year. I've got to make sure that I can like sell a lot because you know what? Reselling seems to be getting a bit, um, it's a bit tricky at the moment. More people are doing it. You know, charity shops are expensive. Um, car boots, you see a lot more people going around car boots. But as you know, and when you've watched my uh, videos, people are still missing out on like 30 quid items, which just sell like that anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do hit that like button subscribe if you're new i am at over 3700 subscribers now come on let's get to 4000 subscribers by the end of the year we should do but let's get it sooner than later anyway hopefully i'll see you at the weekend but maybe see you tomorrow if i decide to go to that car boot goodbye